Good afternoon, everybody. This is Christy. I am the Intimate Warrior. I thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, I send you love. I apologize for such a late um, video here. I, um, My vision is um, blurrier today than it has been. Um, I kind of feel like I'm in a daze um, as well. Um, I hope you've all had a great Thanksgiving for those of you who do celebrate it. Uh, we did here at my household, and it was truly um, a blessed time for me. Um, I don't really, it's not that I get into holidays, like especially birthdays, Valentine's Days, uh, Valentine's Day, and uh, those type of celebrations are not really a part of my makeup any longer because I am not attached to that kind of stuff. And you will find that sense of um, detachment um, take place along in your journey as well, I think. Um, but I mentioned in my video yesterday, I think, about the healing process through the holidays. And this is a high time of high energy, regardless of whatever it is you believe, what... Um, practices or holidays that you are celebrating throughout this time regardless of that celebration or not the energy is high through this time um, and it's because it is a doorway to what approaches um, and again regardless of what you believe in um, the light of Christ um, Jesus himself um, God, source, whatever it is you believe in, it is the peak kind of um, time. And when this isn't understood, because um, these energies are always asking us here to ascend higher. And, and that's basically where a lot of us are at this moment, ascension. We are at this, um, ascension doesn't take place until the, about the, um, a sixth initiation um, which means you have to pass certain levels here and be invited to go beyond a certain initiation you have to do the work and you have to feel ready and worthy of what is to come um, and we are approaching again um, not certain if I mentioned it in any of our videos but the eclipse season um, began on November 23rd where the doorway kind of opened up so Monday um, the M Monday November the 30th is going to be a full moon and a an eclipse um, the full moon is all about illumination um, the moon in itself is about emotions things that are really buried within um, coming to light um, this is about the things that you have been manifesting coming to form but also about purification still. Purging those emotions that have been laying dormant within the darkness. Um, and the eclipse is only going to amplify that light even more so. A lot of heat. Although this, because of the eclipse, a lot of heat is manifesting from this full moon energy that we are already feeling. Um, so full body heat could be um, experiencing now, not just with the heat um, within our physical form, but you may notice that around your locations, wherever you may be living, it's been extremely warm as well. The earth herself is purifying herself, and this heat is uh, doing um, that for her. And we are, too, doing it from within. So I was pretty much boiling all day yesterday and it, it was 75 degrees here um, where we live and it's, it was very very warm very warm um, and today I am still within that heat sensation um, and it's almost again to that boiling point of within the crown a lot of um, blurriness like I mentioned uh, mucus has been coming and going um, and so 
what this kind of means, because we are, a lot of us are at that ascension phase of um, receiving more of the I am presence within. The I am presence within takes hold within the cave of Brahma, within the, um, the crystal palace. Um, it is within the um, middle portion of your brain where the two hemispheres meet, where the penile gland um, and all of that um, um, internal um, cave um, resides. Um, and you can, I probably have a video um, about the King Solomon's temple where it, it shows the the temple and the brain. I think I have a video that shows that image there. But if not, um, I may put it on this one if I can find a, a better one. So that is where the, um, the face of God can be be seen. And this is also I mentioned in um, a video um, within the past couple of weeks, three to two to three weeks here this month, definitely. Time is just going by so quickly and we're going, I know you're witnessing it. Time is speeding up. Um, and of course, when time speeds up, the energies are speeding up and things are kind of clashing together and making us feel as if there's never an end. And we're speeding up though. We're learning faster. We're, we're, we're moving forward. We're um, upgrading um, much more quicker. Um, and that's why we are here at this ascension um, phase. And so um, I mentioned in one of that video that your name is in within the cave of Brahma. Um, that is where the name of your I am presence is within. The name of your over soul is going to be within. So I know I have already received um, the intimate warrior. That is who I am here um, within this earth plane, the new name or new um, title that I have been given. But who I truly am in reference to the multi-dimensional source that I am in the connection with divine source, um, I don't know. This is the deeper connection of your higher self to source connection. Um, your higher self is kind of like that middleman um, between the oversoul and source connection. Um, so I, I hope that kind of makes sense. And so um, my mind is uh, foggy, of course, because of the uplifting sensation of um, energies rising to the crown um, and it's kind of making me a little loopy um, confused um, so I am doing my best today um, my dreams have definitely been speaking to me on um, a healing level um, and about more of my um, spiritual gifts I believe that will be handed to me um, soon um, very crazy dreams and where I I feel I have been handling them um, well within my dream state a lot of, of rescuing people healing people um, discovering things um, going on in my dreams um, so keep in mind, we are having these the solar flares. We are having an eclipse season um, with two eclipses uh, moving into um, December the 21st. Um, but of course, the season will continue into next year, which only pushes us um, along our journey quicker. Eclipses always makes our journey go by faster. Uh, the growth process that is hopefully you are going with it and learning your lessons um, because when you learn your lessons you move forward 
when you're moving forward, you will be invited to higher dimensions. When you receive your um, Oversoul type connection, you are actually tapping into the 12th dimension. This is where the channeling source can be made manifest. And this is something that I haven't really mentioned. But um, I may have in one other video, but channeling has been something that has been planted within my heart um, early on in my process. Although early on in my process, um, I was terrified of it because, you know, we're always we we're, were taught that another spirit coming around you is um, is evil. Um, at least in my up, up, upbringing and. Um, um, things like that um, and some portions of what the Bible speaks about but um, so I have had to do major reconstruction um, within my mind about that and the removal of fear about the spirit realm um, and I have done tremendous work here in this area and um, I'm about to cry <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> you know, there is something that took place um, um, a few nights ago. You know, I try to keep my family out of this type of, um, out of my videos because, you know, it's not my, my intention to ever cause harm to another individual. And um, if other people are not submissive to hearing this type of information, um, it can be taken as a form of harm, and, and that's not my intent. Um, I know I am connecting more with the spirit realm to the point of being able to truly allow spirit to speak through me. I know that's my purpose coming on, um, part of my purpose, which is why we open up to that sacred heart, which is why the Alta Major begins to open the connections with the penal and pituitary open and expand within your brain the entire unification of that brain in itself, the birth of spirit within, the seed, all of that is allowing you to wake up to the mold multi-dimensional self that you are to become an open source um, for spirit to speak through you. If channeling is part of it through wording um, or channeling through the part of like uh, light um, codes um, through um, imagery, whatever it is, you can have that type of um, ability. Um, and so in order to open up to that though, you will be hand handed some sort of uh, experiences. Um, and how you are taking those experiences, it will help you along your, your progression here. And now a lot of these experiences, yes, will be in our everyday life uh, for the most part because it has that emotional um, connection with it. But a lot of it is uh, being done in the um, etheric realm. Um, which in our dream state or in our um, stillness time um, when we are open more to source. So for those of you who know, my mother-in-law has Alzheimer's and this um, has opened me up to more love and is attempting to open me up to more love though. Um, she came to me in her spirit form a few nights back and uh, about a week ago, I think, I don't know, um, and turned and asked me, why has everyone forgotten about me? And I comforted her. Comforted her. But, you know, I, I want to also, before I continue on, I know all of you are going to probably give me information and support on Alzheimer's. I appreciate that, but that's not what this is about. Um, each individual person creates and has a, has a contract with their own personal life of their own choosing. Th this is part of her path. My path is um, of how can I assist her along her journey. 
um, with what she has chosen. And by me sticking with my truth and being a good light source for her, I can still open her up to her true self, if that is her own true wish. I cannot force upon her anything other than guiding her and giving her love. And so um, that really has opened me up to more love in my human life. Um, because, you know, sometimes we forget. We forget that what other people are going through affects other people. Um, especially when it's a form of illness. You know, it's like when I was um, immobile for about 16 years. As I was living that life, I totally forgot that my burdens were now also my family's burdens. I forgot about that. And I was projecting so much pain and turmoil on my family members um, and kind of pushing them away. Um, and so I am even more so than in my past <laughs> with in, in, form, in terms of not just my mother-in-law, um, it's going to expand with other individuals. But her journey is helping me expand my heart um, to loving other people um, as they truly do deserve still. Because still, it's so hard, you know, when you're taking care of someone and you're still going through some things. And, you know, things take place within your, your reality and a clashing can come. And it's so hard to stop sometimes and breathe and remember the other person's um, pain or what they're going through. Um, and so that connection that I made with her um, about a week ago has is making me be more mindful of others more so than I already have been. I do a good job for the most part, but I, again, I always want to be better. Um, and this, I believe, is why Source allowed this connection to take place. Of course, I am expanding on myself, my spirit self, and what I will be able to do in connection with... Um, source and channeling. So um, how your lessons come into play in your reality, it may be different and it may manifest in ways that you don't quite fully understand yet. You have to be, and I don't want to use that word tested, uh, but given an opportunity to prove that you can see what's taking place as a form of expansion um, in order to still receive what is going to come before you um, through your process. I hope this all makes sense and um, where we all are headed. The amount The, because for 1221, when that light comes here, and that's what it is, it's a, the huge amount, it's going to be a huge amount of light that is going to be reflecting. Also, because it's 1221, these are mirrored numbers, reflecting numbers, our divine light sources divine light are supposed to match now by that point do you hear what i'm saying matching a lot of us are already implementing this and may already have it prior to the event because we have to still be this huge beacon for others to fall in line behind us that's how it kind of happens. You know, we someone goes, ascends, 
and we pull along with our energy source, others, because we are all connected. It never ends. It's, um, I had an analogy earlier and I can't even remember. Um, if we all tied a cord to each other, we're, you know, we're attached. We're tethered. We're tied. So, uh, I wanted to make this video, and I know it's not really informative um, with, uh, I guess it could be, I don't know. Like I said, I'm kind of all around here today with my, my mind. Um, um, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it at this and see what else comes to. I am also in the Uh, Moon in Taurus is uh, taking place today for those of you who are um, Taurians um, for the next two days. This um, Taurus is more of the illumination process, um, internal illumination. So it kind of goes with, it does go with what I am expressing internally. Um, in receiving the I am presence and keep in mind this is something that might not take place today and just because it's being expressed doesn't mean um, it doesn't mean that it, you will receive it today it's that again the integration process that must take place you must believe in order to receive this is Christy much love health and healing your way I am bringing purpose to your life Take care.